So you've seen where I am so far. Lots and lots of updates. Um, I'm so excited because it has been a journey. I was looking back through my old pictures from last year and getting the van and thinking to myself, man, is it ever gonna come together? And here we are a year later. You know, the manifestation is so real and I am just pumped to get out on the road, which is uh, tentatively set for the end of August. We'll see what the universe has in store, but that's my plan as of now. Be headed west and uh, my daughter and her family are looking to relocate so to California. So I'm excited about that. It's gonna be a... Uh, it's gonna be fun and I'm ready to just be by the ocean and enjoy the the salt water and the mountains and just have that that additional serenity to my to my day-to-day -day living so um, man what else is going on I am just thinking about what else I have left to do I've just got some odds and ends on um, storage still figuring out a lot of storage I've got the water pump hooked up to the to the sink well so I've got the drain which will be the like I said the gray water which is your usable water that can go back into the into the world because it's not polluted with like um, chemicals or uh, body waste or anything like that so I have the gray water which was that tank on the left, and then I have the tank on the right, which the plan was using that foot pump to be able to pump the water up to use on my sink. But I have to connect that foot pump to the outside on the floor, and I don't know if I'm digging that. So I am gonna check into some alternatives, and I might just use jugs of water right now to kind of like rinse off food and wash dishes and that kind of thing and maybe maybe I won't use a foot pump I don't know I really I'm trying to figure out like what all that is gonna look like once I get on the road because one of my favorite van lifers Chrome Valdez uh, Van City Van Life you know he started out with just a mattress in the back and almost three years later he has this beautiful custom van but he didn't do it overnight he's trekked thousands of miles he's in Canada and has had the experiences of like what's he what he needs and what he doesn't need and I think that's one of the important things to remember is that we look at these videos of all these vans that are just like tricked out and think okay we got to have this we got to have this we got to have this and we really don't know until we are on the road and we're experiencing it I mean I just have the basics and I'm sure I'm gonna do some rearranging I'm sure I'm gonna purge some more things Man, let me tell you, purging your belongings, um, the struggle is real. I went through my clothes and I think I got rid of two thirds of my clothing. I mean, with moving to a warm climate, I don't need all the extra sweaters and all the extra boots and heavy coats. I kept a few things, but I didn't need all of that to take to a warm climate or to a warmer climate. So just purging your stuff, it was an experience, but also thinking like I've been living out of a suitcase for the last four months and a lot of that stuff I haven't even used so do I really need it that's the question I don't I don't think so I don't know but I got rid of a lot of my clothes I'm trying to get rid of some furniture I don't know if you're considering this lifestyle and you have questions please put them below or just send me a direct message because I had a lot of questions and I was able to watch a lot of videos on what I wanted my van experience to look like and what I didn't want it to look like. And I think one of the important things to remember is that I'm doing this lifestyle because I don't want to be part of the day-to-day 9-to-5 -day rat race anymore. I've done that for, gosh, 30 years since I was 20. And I want it to look different the last half. Of course, I have to work because I haven't hit the Powerball yet, but I still play. So I do have to figure out, you know, a happy balance between being able to support myself 
and the things that I need day to day, but also being able to enjoy the freedom that this is going to afford me. It's not for everybody, but I definitely think it's going to be for me. So, thanks for tuning in for the update. It's been a while. I apologize. Uh, the heat and just scheduling has been tough. I hope that you've enjoyed what you've watched. Again, if you have any questions, put something down below so that we can have a conversation and I can support you if this is what you are looking to do. So until next time, hopefully in a week. <laughs> That's my commitment is every Sunday. Um, but I'm actually now editing my own video, so that might be a little bit easier. We'll see. I'll keep you guys in the loop. Take care.